Hello everyone, this is Kitty Affirmations here, and I'm here to do an Ethernet video. And we're going to continue reading the three, min three Minutes Positivity Journal by Christian Butler. And we left off at Rare of the Meaning. Wish there was four. We left off at number two. Rare is recognized in negativity. Number two was accepted. Now we hit number three as reaffine the situation and evolve into the best version of who you are. So we're going to go ahead and start reading and get to it. Reaffining the negativity, like I was saying. Reaffining means to define again or define differently. After recognizing the step in the negativity, and you can reaffine, of, reaffine how you feel about the particular, particular, well, I'm moving on people, negative emotions or event. Reaffine requires you to release your current feelings about the situation and change the story, thereby reaffining it. How else can you look at the situation is there a different perspective? What other stories can you tell about it? Remember those questions. In order to reaffine the negativity, and we must be willing to challenge our existing interpretation of event, we had to be willing to see things differently and change our mind. Reaffining make us realize that it's never an event that makes us suffer but rather our interpretation of that event. If I get bullied in school, for example, <clears throat> I will feel very differently about the bullying if I interpret it as I am weak and unlovable, or as the bullying has nothing to do with me. It's a coping Macasium, macasium, used by a kid who is working through his own insecurities and fears and feeling of in the quinces. I really don't know, guys. I do have issues reading certain words, but I just keep going. I'm not ashamed. I'm not embarrassed. In one instance, my self-esteem and ability to love myself might be shattered. While in a second, I might realize it wasn't my fault and feel compassionate for the very person who once hurt me. In either scenario, the event is in the past and the immediate pain is long gone. And what remains are the stories I tell of the event. One power way to reaffine feelings is through positivity affirmations or auto-suggestions. Positive affirmations can help to solve false or negative beliefs systems by reprogramming the mind. This is why I included daily props for you to practice your personal affirmations. I want you to begin flipping the script in areas of your life that aren't ideal. I also flip the script on negativity stories during meditation or deep thinking and self-talk. With a positive perspective, you can forgive people in difficult life circumstances. You can see things in a new way. So there's a quote here that says, Being negative only makes the journey more difficult. You may be given a cactus, but you don't have to sit on it. And that's by Joyce Myers. I love Tony Robbins' perspective, life is happening for you, not to you. When I fully embraced that statement, I was able to let go of so much baggage. There's a little another quote here. I started to see negativity, I mean, I started to see negative experience as gifts for growth rather than pain without purpose. Little quote here. Now we're going to hit number four of rare involving from negativity. The most beautiful thing about being a human is that we can transform into a positive being filled with warmth and love and gratitude in our hearts. When you are fine negativity, you make space for positivity to shine through you. 
As a result, you're involved in becoming a peaceful and loving version of, of you and focus on the silver linings. Every situation comes with its own set of consequences that can be interprinted in positive or negative ways. We involve when we see the less than ideals outcomes as guides to help us grow. When we realize that life is always working out for us, we're able to see every of our adverse situation as an opportunity to evolve. There's a little quote here that says, change is necessary to release negativity for good. Right there. Your mind wants to be the one in control. When you try to change something in your life, your mind knows that this change might disrupt. This is why whenever you decide to make change, it creates thoughts, hurdles as a way to stop you from taking action that is new or different. Bob Proctor calls this the Perry Diagram. Okay. According to Bob Proctor, Pyograms are a multitude of habits that guide every move you make. They affect the way you eat and the way you walk. Even the way you talk. They govern your communication, your work habits, and your success and your failures. This explains why some people get to where they want to be in life with minimum effect, if effort. And others struggle to take a simple step. The problem isn't you. The problem is the paragons. In order to change the quality of our lives, we must shift our paragons, alter, or replace this ones with new and positive ones. Bob Pro says there will be no permanent change in your life until the paragraph has been changed. As you shift from negative mindset to a positive one and know that this change might not be easy in the beginning and to be gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to shift gradually by engaging with this journal every day. Before you know it, being positive will become easier of the two paths. Alrighty. Now I want to read a little bit of this right here. And then we're going to stop for after this. It's called Additional Resources. The topic of negativity and wounds triggers false beliefs and etc. is a big one. This journal will help you work through many of these by continually refocusing your mind on positive mental habits. Still, you might find that you need additional support to release negativity and rewrite limit beliefs and heal old wounds. Sometimes when the past is too heavy to handle on your own, it's time to seek help from professionals. I have tried and highly recommend any form of talk, the therapy and prayer guides meditation, light and therapy, sound healing, um, neutral feedback, taping and auto suggestions and guide meditations, just to name a few. You can also dig deeper in transformative work on your own by reading books written by some of the world's most effective person developed experts. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. We're going to continue the additional resources. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. And yeah, I admitted it earlier. I do have some issues reading when it comes to big words but in the same frame of sense of mind I tend to read really fast too so I kind of mess them up too so yeah I'm not ashamed you know you got people that are but hey at least I'm reading and that's like a learner technique it's like I say for everybody every day is a new experience for everybody of learning every day you know what I mean so when you don't know the word you google it or you know if you don't know how to pronounce it it shows it on google it's like a little audio thing and there's nothing to be ashamed of about that and there's no teasing people it shouldn't be picking on people 
And even if people does pick on, I have more of a positive mindset anyway, guys. So it won't really affect me. Any. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Hope y'all guys enjoy. Christian Butler, 3 Minute Positivity Journal. And other than that, I hope everybody has a God blessed day. Always take care. God bless. Again. And always stay safe out there. And other than that, God bless and peace out.